Sunrise News Analysis on Biafra Television. Good morning from here. My name is Ngozi Chukwuka. This is a program that has been designed to educate you, to enlighten you about the happenings in the contraption called Nigeria, about uh, what is going on in Biafra land and all that has to do with the restoration of Biafra. Of course, we also pick some news from Nigerian dailies and of course we dissect them very well. We know, uh, you all know, we live in a society where everything about it are lies, everything about Nigeria, everything about the contraption is lies and of course on this platform we expose them we debunk all their lies. Lots of lies have been told against us. Lots of lies has been told against uh, against our identity. You know, they try to cover up a lot of things, and you find out that so many evil take place on daily basis. But no one is being reported on the Nigerian dailies. But on this platform, we bring them to limelight. We bring it. We expose it to the whole world to see what is going on and the contraption, and of course, what is going on against the indigenous people of Biafra. We are the indigenous people of Biafra led by Mazin Namdekano and deputized by Mazuche Mefo. We are whiter than white and whiter than snow. We are here with a mandate to restore the land of the rising sun, Biafra. And of course, I have in the studio with me this morning. Mazi, Victor Onido. Good morning, Wanda. Good morning to you. And Biafra and all of us of freedom, wherever you are, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I enjoy you to call your friends, your well wishers, and your neighbors to come close and listen to the gospel of truth. Thank you. Thank you so much. Of course, this is the gospel of truth. This is the only platform where you get the truth and of course we've ensured we are on almost all the social media platform to enable you join us, to enable our viewers to hear the truth, the gospel of truth. So we are on our satellite TV, we are on Facebook, we are on Periscope, we are on Twitter, we are on YouTube. So wherever you are watching us from whichever platform you are using, please endeavor to share it with your friends, endeavor to invite your friends. If you are on Facebook, Facebook, share it on your timeline. It should be running on your timeline. You can as well share it via your friend's inbox. So they can also watch with you. And of course, share also to their own friends. It's really, really important. It's really, really important. Then for benefit of those who have no access to the internet, for those who do not have the TV, we are transmitting simultaneously on Radio Biafra London. So please, 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 uh, you have to join us call your friends call your families call your brothers tell everyone to join us on radio biafra london those of them in biafra land to join us on radio biafra london very very important everyone joins us thank you once again for joining us today thank you so much for joining us today and of course uh, this morning like i said we are going to be discussing something very very important very very important this morning like uh, we always said that lots of lies has been told against us this morning we're also going to be looking at one of those big lies uh, you know they try to deter us they try to stop us they try to discourage us but we can never be deterred we can never capitulate they, they tried all means they've tried every possible means to pull us down but we are unstoppable we are the indigenous people of Biafra before we came there was none like us even while we are right now there is not like us and when we must have gone so many will try to imitate us but then there will be none like the indigenous people of Piafra. that is why they've tried as much as possible to even sell the terrorist attack they prescribed us and of course they called us terrorists and gazetted it one of the world was set it but we, we are still strong we are still standing tall we are still waxing strong we are still going on and of course instead of the world to buy into to that um, terrorist tag today we have been uh, known as the most peaceful freedom fighting organization in the world the world keep recognizing us wherever we are we are in over 100 countries of the world over 100 countries of the world and of course we are working strong the government are aware and of course we are welcomed everywhere so that is why we are not going to stop we are not going to capitulate it doesn't matter what they say it doesn't matter how much lies they tell against us it doesn't also matter uh, you know it doesn't matter how many people they killed they try to stop us they try to silence us with their guns their bullet their media war and all the rest but here we are today still standing you know still standing strong and tall and of course you know what it means a lot of people are expecting us to fall but here we are today 
and uh, moving ahead. Of course, uh, you know, um, one thing with uh, the indigenous people of Biafra, they are determined to do this, and uh, nobody's paying them to, to, to do this, and uh, it's something uh, people should understand. By this particular point in time, people have to understand that this very uh, noble mandate of uh, the, the restoration of Biafra is something that, you know, is, 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 is evolving. It's something people cannot just understand. The spirit and the driving force that is pushing the indigenous people of Biafra to do this and even the rest of the world cannot even understand because uh, the world itself they stood against us they try everything humanly possible to make sure they stop us because they know that we carry light within us they know that we carry uh, you know something that will change the world because they said the idea that transformed the world is an idea that shake the thinker so we carry some kind of idea that will change the rest of the world that is why the people from the other dark side don't want us to bring that light to light light the people from the zoo they don't want us to bring that light to 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 free everybody that is why they keep fighting us but ipob we are strong we are built for this we are specially built for this we are unbreakable that is why we keep on pushing on we keep on pushing on until we find ourselves in the promised land because our leader will say that one day we will sleep as a nigeria and the next day we wake up as biafra Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, this morning, before we go ahead, uh, we'll have a uh, brother with us this morning, Mazi Elvis Omudiwi. He will be joining us this morning again. And of course, uh, before before he comes to join us, I'll read the headlines we have here this morning. Um, the first one. Asari Dokubo accuses IPOB of assassinating Prophet Antonio Nwokolo. Stop raping our women. Anambra youth protest against Fulani Hetzman. Aisha Buhari plans to immortalize late husband by establishing a university in his name. Islamic body speaks on Buhari government declaring jihad against Christians. And finally, Amnesty gives figures of IPOB and IMN members killed by soldiers in Nigeria. So we are going to be looking at the first one. Asari Dokobo accuses IPUB of assassinating Prophet Anthony Wonkolo. You know, um, last week it was uh, all over the media that um, a certain Prophet Anthony Wonkolo died, and of course he was butchered in his house. Uh, but after some investigation, he, he, the story changed. He was found dead. No part of his body was cut, no injury, and of course up until now, no autopsy result has been ascertained and uh, not even the, the Nigerian police has come up with any evidence but we started seeing a lot of things on the newspaper which we debunked on this platform but it's uh, really unfortunate that um, one of our own, I should say one of our own because Asari Dakubo, uh, we know him from a job, Biafra Land uh, of course has come up with a viral video accusing IPOB, not really alleging he accused, he said it that IPOB uh, assassinated Anthony Wokolo. So what do you have to say about this coming from our own? Okay, well, thank you very much uh, Wanda for uh, that very question. Well, uh, the truth of the matter is that uh, I personally don't like uh, talking about uh, anything that has to do with Asari Dukubo because of uh, who he is and who what he has uh, been representing all this world. But uh, since he's part of the headline, I'll talk about it. Well, the truth of the matter is that uh, um, Asari Dukubo is a Muslim and uh, one thing, I don't have problem with the Muslim, but I want to tell you one thing, take it to the bank or take it anywhere. A good Muslim is a dead Muslim. Anybody that, uh, you know, swore an oath or an allegiance to that very religion can do anything. They are like time bomb that is likely to explode at any particular point in time. Now, Asari Dukubo coming to accuse IPOB, you know, of uh, killing uh, Prophet Nokolo or whoever he is, is very, very simply laughable because uh, IPOB have not even killed other important people that have sabotaged this very struggle. We have not killed people like uh, Nayangud. We have not killed all the governors that instigated the, 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 the Nigerian army to come to our land to kill our people in thousands. And we have not killed all the saboteurs who have 
come out openly to sabotage us, to do a lot of things, to betray us, to sell us out to the enemy. We have not killed anyone. We have not even killed the Zulu army who have come to our land to kill us severally, not once, not twice, not. I can't even count the number of times they have come to their own land to kill us. We have not even retaliated. We have not killed any one of them. Then who is Prophet Mokolo for IPOB to condescend so low in killing him? That is very, very simple, laughable. And on the other hand, uh, our people used to have a parable that says that, I mean, the Tortoise normally say that uh, he who first perceived the order of a fat is the person behind that very fat. So for uh, uh, Sari Dukubo to come out to say that IPOB killed Prophet, Prophet Vokolo without uh, any investigation, without any proof, shows that he himself is the one behind that very death because he is working with the zoo. He has collected his own share of 50 billion to be trade, uh, to sell out IPOB, to sell out Mazin Namdekam, and that is why he worked with them. He killed him in order to come out and level, level it on the IPOB, uh, you know, so that he will tarnish the image of IPOB. But uh, he's coming very late. It, it is very, very late, and it is very, very quite unfortunate that somebody like him, somebody we respect so much in time past, do uh, me personally, I hold some kind of a, a, a reservation on him because uh, I know that since he has joined with the enemy, since he's a Muslim, he's a terrorist, now he has come out openly yesterday to own up to it that he's a member of the IC. So what else do you expect from a terrorist? Somebody who came up to the fact that he's a terrorist, saying it openly and proudly. So what else do you expect from him? He's a terrorist, and what do you expect a terrorist to do? He's coming in to infiltrate our land. He's building mosques, and uh, he's also preparing jihad against our people. But one thing I can assure him is that IPAB will stand on the truth, and we will believe the truth. He himself, he will use his own, he will die by his own sword. He will use his hand to kill himself. He even threatened to kill IPAB member. He threatened to do uh, all sorts of things. But we are not going to retaliate. We are not going to say anything. But he himself, that very jihad, those people that are sponsoring him, those ISIS, uh, of course, he insulted Donald Trump. He said that Donald Trump is a madman. Donald Trump is this and that. He's uh, even instigating war against Donald Trump. You can imagine when a lizard begins to challenge a lion because of the fact that uh, a, a lizard cannot give a bet to a lion doesn't necessarily mean that a lizard can challenge a lion but w uh, what do we have to do we have to keep watching and uh, keep on doing what we are doing this is a major form of distraction to distract people to make people and you know that the enemy they really don't want any good thing from you they will believe anything they will believe the worst you know they will see if you can believe that IPB is a terrorist when we have not killed anybody, when we have not done anything, then is it not this one? Is it this one that you will not believe? A lot of people, a lot of useless media, brand envelope media, uh, 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 rental time, Sahara, and the rest of uh, other useless media. These are the kind of things they are looking for. Once they have this kind of gossip coming to their doorstep, they use it to make their money, they use it to fly it around to make IPOB uh, appear. But, but this will really know the truth because I keep saying it that the greatest of foolishness is when you see the truth, you know the truth, but you choose to believe the lies. That makes you the most foolish and miserable people uh, on this very planet. Uh, that is what Nigerian people is beat. The character of foolishness, the character of you, be useless, be stupid because IPOB stand on the truth and truth is our watchword. We saw an oath to restore Biafra in truth and in spirit and that is the truth we are working with. Our greatest weapon is the weapon of truth. We say the truth no matter whose ox is God and that is why the enemies are increasing every day, even the ones in the house, even the ones at home. We have enemies everywhere. They keep increasing day by day. Even the people we can call our own. But I thank to go card them for making it to happen this way. At least we are beginning to see them. We are marking them one after the other. Even others are still coming after him. Those he is uh, a, a, a training. They are coming after him and very soon they will manifest and we will see them for who they are. And I want you to believe me that they will use their hand to destroy themselves in a in no distant time. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. At uh, this moment, uh, Mazi Elvis is with us already, so we uh, let's get to him. Hello, Mazi. Good morning from here. Well, good morning, and um, Mazi Victor. I say good morning to each good and every one of you and their friends listening. I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depends on your time zone. Thank you for listening. Thank you for joining us.
Okay, uh, Mazi, based on what we are discussing yeah. this morning, the first headline we have here, Sorry, Dr. Kobo accuses IPOB of assassinating Prophet Antonio Mwokolo. And uh, we know that since after the massacre in uh, River State as Igwacha, and um, not, really, not only Igwacha, in all the Ijeo land during the election, uh, we know that Asari Dokubo is yet to speak. We've not heard from him since then. After we heard his house has been raided, and of course, um, nothing was said from him. We did not hear him. We did not see him. But then, um, just two days back, he made a video and, of course, accusing IPUV of killing Anthony Wokolo. What's your take on this? Why, um, why do you think he yeah. just appeared now after being silent for a while? Yes, um, my sister, the truth is not far fetched. As I read Okubo, as they said, mind you, the very first, um, the first thing you should know is that um, the man um, is not a full, uh, a kind of uh, uh, born Biafran. He is half uh, Biafran, half Yoruba. And uh, to start with, his real name is Ozodema. And uh, he's not from Bayosa, he's from River State. So the man in quotes is doing the work of their masters because um, if you go to social media, so those of them that own um, Radio Bugare International, this very morning they are up and running on their social media like uh, the lives of El Gechi and uh, they are playing that very clips because they are, uh, uh, the man is doing uh, accordingly as the zoo has spared them. And these are the instrument of uh, Iran, and Iran simply means jealousy. And that spirit of jealousy has entered them all. They have seen that our leader has gone far beyond their imaginations and beyond their expectations. All they need to do is to condescend so low to work with the enemies. You know, then enemies are enemies now give to, give to them a script type, that the, the, the role that they should be playing. And they saw Asare Tokubo as, as in a kind of giant that they could uh, kind of uh, use and nobody should, may even rise up to speak to him that if you, because um, he, 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 he was one time a, a militant, you know, and uh, with all this uh, big pot belly, so he, he did not use, use him as a, a kind of um, spokesman, just like what was Rike. Yeah, for pass to the international community. He also heard Mazi say something about uh, Iran, you know, saying he's going to see our leader, uh, of course, for character assassination and that he would be tried um, in America. So, what do you have to say about this whole uh, collaboration? Okay, well, the truth of the matter, or what I would have to say about it, is that uh, IPOB, we are built with a, with a steel or uh, what other material is more solid than a steel you know um all the very uh, issue that is coming up is it, not coming to us as a surprise you know from my own perspective is something we have already expected because i keep telling people that once you decided to go into something whether it is freedom fighting or into business or whatever you are going make sure you prepare your mind for two things either for the best or for the worst if your partner in the business end up giving you the worst then it should not come to you as a surprise. But if the person end up giving you the best, then you thank you Kabiama for it. So now all these things they are doing, they tag those terrorists and uh, that one did not work and they now try to use people who have been close to us, you know, before now to you know uh perpetrate their evil acts. Of course uh, the international community they are not blind, they can see the truth for themselves. They have even used their mouth to confess it that IPOB is over peaceful in their approaches because they, they have pushed to the extent that we are supposed to engage the use of self defense but we never did that. Our data never com uh, uh, com uh, uh, commanded that for us to do that. Even a lot of people are even getting angry, they are pressurizing our leader Mazin and they can give us command, give us command, let us deal with all this we should damn the consequences after all the world that would have happened has already happened. They have tagged us terrorists. What else again are we afraid of? They have tagged us so many things. So what else makes any difference? But still our leader hold himself. He still did not give that command. So why now? Why would we command for anybody to be killed? So all those things is now for people who really have sense. This is the time to determine those who 
uh, have brain in their skull and those who have water in their skull this is the only time to determine it because when you come out and tell me a cock and bull story something you have not investigated you have not even used it do you know that there is a technology for someone to uh, to, 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 to dictate uh, what happened even when you are not there there's a technology to to do a forensic examination to determine who committed the crime at, at any time you can invite those people to come and uh, carry out such investigation before you can come out with concrete evidence and say this thing this people did this or that you can't just come out and begin like that's why like uh, uh we said earlier that he who uh, the person said that he who uh, is the first person to hear the smell of a fat is the person behind that fat so for this people to kill this man and come out again to first to for announce his death they are the ones behind it and until they confess tell us uh, i mean how it happened then the world should hold them responsible so the world itself like you have said or the international community they have always been there sit down they look they are watching how things are going and all of that they will use their mind uh, they, they, they are trying to calm their teeth and for clifford the iran as soon as uh, soon our leader to american court my sister it is a welcome development let him bring it on that's why i tell you we expect the worst from them they're not even bringing enough worst for for us to face let them bring the worst they can if, if this is only the worst they can bring them it means that they have nothing i thought they should have done something more severe than this something more you know great that will shake ipo i don't know that this one is just a scratch so let them bring it on if it is seen by our director to the highest court i think that is where they will even hear our case that is where the world will even know about it but it's just that uh, they are coward they can't do anything they say something they are not anything that you know ipo before they do something i mean they don't even come out publicly to say it most of the time they just do it and surprise you with it so if you have something to do please bring it on we are waiting for it nothing is new to us anymore and nothing can be new again to us thank you very much all right thank you very much thank you very much okay so you to you do you think um he was my sister i don't think so for i watched that video over and over again even this, this latest one that he did in his construction site he is never doing that under durex nobody is forcing him to do so because uh, why i said so is that how can somebody force him to do that what he doesn't want to do i mean think of it now if anybody is forcing him to do that then he would have spoken out now is he afraid is he i thought uh, although he's a coward anyway so um nobody can force him to do that it's something you have already uh, he, he, you know something you have already uh, had in mind all this while but he's just using this opportunity to let out his voice because coming to use any single opportunity to accuse IPOB first of all he started during the election time is anybody forcing him to come and uh, stand against IPOB just because our leader in, uh, 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 you know uh, tried to cooperate with our brothers over there in Israel that is his problem he said that Biafra is not going to be uh, a Jewish state then do you want Biafra to be an Islamic state is that one going to be okay is anybody forcing you to leave the islam no but you now use that as opportunity to start character assassination we did not respond our leader said nobody should respond to him and that one is not enough he came up with another strategy when the election nothing must have failed after he must have called ip the coward and uh, the job with their warriors and the zoo army came to his own place and killed it at something of his own people he never did anything to defend them he deceived them i think the job will if they have brain in their score this is the time for them to see him for who he truly is so there is no way he will be under compulsion and his job brethren will not be aware of it or they will not do something to help him or even the ipd will not do something to help him so i believe he's doing it out of his own will and his own volition he's doing it nobody is forcing him to do it he's not being put on that to do to to do this after all he have made what type of money has he made is it is any money going to be made the 50 billion he recently collected is it going to be more than what he's receiving uh, annually so he's not being forced to do that he have already chosen he's an adult so he should be responsible for whatever action he's taking so nobody is forcing him to do that because the video he was doing he was doing it in his construction site with his bodyguard everywhere so who is uh, that person that is forcing him to come and do that i don't think i don't believe that i don't buy into that ideology he himself decided to be a saboteur and that is what he is so nobody should defend him by saying that they are forcing him to do so in our own land it doesn't happen that way it and it can never happen thank you very much okay thank you thank you very much um that uh, you elvish uh, you know he came out uh, in his previous video and of course he made it uh, clear that he's a member of the islam
Islamic State. He's a Muslim, and of course, uh, over the world, we have become an, uh, a Jewish state. What do you have to say about this? And because uh, what are we really fighting for religion? Is this a religious war or whatever? Now to see he's a Muslim and then Nigeria cannot, uh, Biafra cannot be a Jewish state. Who really is? I think we should look at uh, who really is behind this. He's not just coming out as a person or as an individual to do this. Yes, um, what I have to say towards this, um, is uh, the thing that is um, happening or trending now is it, not, um, it's not a, a, a surprise. It's just an intentional behavior. And um, even he said that he owes nobody apology for that. But he's so blunt to come up on social media to make his uh, um, uh, desire or intentions known to the IPOB. Mind you, this very man, I don't want to mention his name anymore. This man after he betrayed our leader because money was involved then he could not carry out what he's supposed to do and that very money he wanted to embezzle the money and since that very time he, you know, he has been saying things with both of his uh, two sides of his mouth and um, I don't take his work as uh, as serious as anything because during the time of, um, of militancy he was too selfish he, he, he wasn't doing that to emancipate the, their, their land and um, not even now and I don't even think him come is a, is a, is a killer Do you, that he, he lost his senses he, he's not reasoning well so I don't think that these issues you know we'll be discussing though we have to trend on it a little bit but um uh, is something that we need to put on the trash uh, trash can you know because it doesn't make any meaning or any sense for me he is just a cow he's, he's an opportunist you no know? so thank you all right thank you very much thank you very much with that we'll go um now we have of course the salary document issue i think to me should be neglected totally and of course we we'll see yes. how he falls you know when we keep responding to him we we'll keep making him relevant. yeah mm. he's relevant so i think um all dear friends wherever you are should just the best thing we do to me i think the person just unfriend him don't even share his uh, video or whatever allow him and uh, you know one of the problem he have uh, he has is uh, jealousy Seeing our leader with so much crowd, seeing our leader being respected so much, and uh, just a few persons behind him, you know, mm. I think jealousy is one of the problems he has. So we just need to forget him and move ahead. We have, uh, we have a goal we need to accomplish. Thank you very much. Okay, the next one here. Stop prepping our women and our baggage protest against Fulani Hetzman. Um, Master Victor, what do you have to say? Well, we keep we, we kept talking about the Fulani headsmen every day. We talk about them, and of course, they rape our women, they, they, they kill our people. And it seems the government does not care every day. We keep talking about it. So, what do you have to say about this? Um, now that the Anambra youths have started a uh, protest against them. Okay. Welcome development. Yes, uh, it's, it's a welcome development uh, uh, if, they, if, they, if they can be able to sustain it because uh, one thing with uh, some of our people is that uh, they are not consistent in whatever they are doing. That is why IPOB is different from their own approaches and uh, the way they handle things. You know, um, one good thing about IPOB is consistency. consistency. We are consistent in every aspect of um, our struggle. So, um, the Anambra youth, if they can be consistent in their demand, but because you know, one thing you know, you mentioned about uh, uh, the ask uh, the Fulani high men to stop raping their women. Now, let me tell you, um, that is where sex evangelism came, uh, comes in because uh, one of the primary objective in their set out plans not only to carry out jihad in Biafran land, uh, and it is also 
to continue their sex evangelism because you know one thing they enjoy i mean it is a deep sense of pleasure for them to even have the opportunity to sleep with any different woman that is one thing that gives in fact an outside man can give you the last salary i've ever made in his life in order to sleep with a different woman that is how important it is for them talk more or less of now they have opportunity to harass our women in their farm to sleep with them to plant their evil seed and at the end of the day when that evil seed will grow that those are the people that you know that got their blood mixed up like uh, Richard or Krauser that we have in our land and so many of them those are the circumstances that bring about those very people so they not only kill our people they also sow their evil seed in our women in order for them to multiply their evil agenda so our youth if they can be able to sustain it and also make sure they stand without looking at the face of anybody or waiting for the government who is part of the plan in order to bring our people into subjection to come and retaliate because of course they are not going to do anything about it all these things have been happening police will come they will not do anything so if the youth because the youth is the power of every nation the youth is the engine room of every development so if our youth can be able to sustain it and make sure they drive away this people, not only just giving them warning or issuing press statement drive them away from our land because these people they are not circumcised they are evil they should not come close to our women because once they come and plant up their evil seed that is where the ghosts of the land start getting angry because our blood has been mixed up and things will begin to happen the abnormal way so our youth should stand on this my sister and it is a welcome development and i appreciate it if they can be able to maintain it it's not tomorrow again we will have another story or they will collect bribe and uh, abandon it they should be consistent in their demand and make sure that these evil people get away from our land and that is where the cleansing will take place thank you all right thank you very much and uh, i would like to read what we have here uh still on that issue the Panamba ways have protested the alleged raping of their women and maiming of their people by suspected felon headsmen and warned that if nothing is done by the authorities to stem the tide of abuses by the suspected headsmen, warning that unless those in whose power it is to act rein in on the violent headsmen, we will confront them and it will be bloody. And we are sure at the end of the clash, no headsman will ever come to Anambra West again. There have been series of clashes between villagers and health workers in several parts of Anambra in recent weeks, with reported cases of rape and arson. The youth may have reason to allow the authorities that unless something drastic is done, they may be taking the laws into their hands. Okay, uh, Mazi Elf is on with the way. Um, I, I, I've asked uh, Mazi Victor if really the protest is a welcome development, and of course he has given so to you what do you think do you think they should go uh, beyond the protest or do you think um that the, the government is right by keeping silent just last time the same for an are demanding for land for burial ground and of course uh, uh we do not know if the governor have done so they've given him several they've given them several portions of land but this time around asking for a burial ground and of course uh why after asking for burial ground they started raping the women I think uh, they are actually calling for a violent. So what do you think? Do you think it is a way to, you know, uh, start up something that might circulate and before you know it, the whole Biafra land is at war? What do you think? Yes, um, my sister, I will answer this very question in two ways, though I will digress a bit. Okay. Um, number one, it is a welcome idea by doing protests to create awareness because protest stands for creating awareness so that the, the people in the authority and those of the opinion holders should hear and uh, take heed and take uh, actions towards what is uh, what is happening or the needs or the reasons of the protest but number one any protest in the zoo that goes contrary to the will and plans of the government of the day has to be stopped and has to be dealt with because um, you are not working according to their order because they believe that those of the protest or anything that should have done or should be a kind of something that, 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 that has to be taken to the streets must be uh, signed and approved by them and uh, this time around uh, the protest concerning the Fulani henchmen 
and uh, others is their, their business, private businesses that they uh, can have signed a lot of memorandum with the, 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 the president of the, of the zoo to make sure that the land is being a kind of um, uh, 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 filled with um, Nama and um, uh, 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 of these ladies HIV positive it's, it's, it's and the others may, may have had it but not yet developed so what do, what should really be done? We know about the rape issue. We know there's a them who go to farm and they are being raped in the farm. But we have these young girls who go out willingly with these headers. And you know what it means? After after sexing the cow, they come to sex the women, the, the young girls. And today, so many of them, so many are HIV positive. Okay. At least I saw some of them and spoke with them. Okay, well, uh, the truth of the matter is that uh, I totally concur and agree with you and also with my brother Mazi every Sunday way because, uh, um, you know, one thing is that if you don't understand how valuable you are, nobody else will, you know, and understand, will value you. That is, exactly. if you don't value yourself, nobody else will value you. Naturally, our women are supposed to be the most expensive women in the world. They are supposed to be, I mean, a precious, uh, a dish, they are supposed to be precious like uh, gold in the eyes of the, not just to the Biafans or to the people living in this very geographies, but to the rest of the world because our women are sexual, they have brain, they are hard working, they have natural talent. But uh, it baffles me that this very generation of women are no longer doing things the way our mothers did back then because our mothers they are very, very industrial. That is why our fathers lived long, that is why our fathers they were prosperous because they say behind every successful man there is always a woman behind. So our women are women of virtues and they have knowledge and understanding but uh, what baffles me is the way they are making themselves so cheap how they stoop so low in sleeping with people who are not circumcised do you know that this is it is even against the law it is against even ordinary task it is against what our ancestors believed in for a beautiful woman to sleep who is a circumcised to sleep with answer man or full army man because you know, full and women, it is even very difficult for them to get even their own women or even other women around. That is why it is very, very easy for them to lay a cow, to sleep with cow. Cow is one of the main things, it is even there in their belief. They believe that, uh, I mean, some man they will come and preach that uh, it is even okay if uh, someone, I mean, uh, also man or full and man is having a sexual urge, they, went, they will go and look for a cow to, in order to release their attention. But now, our uh, women don't even understand that they are making themselves very cheap to these people by offering them one one naira or two naira or giving them suya or cow meat at the end of the day you open your legs so our people our women and uh, it's, it's, a, it's inclusive fight i'm not putting all the blame on the women even the men have to do something our men have That's to also women, yeah. yes yes they have to talk to the women they have to also do something they, to protect them because uh, if you put all the blame on them these men, women they have their roles to play and men to have their role to play because you cannot just tell me that uh, your old mother who goes to the farm on daily basis in order to cultivate farm to feed the family and at the end of the day how sorrowful a new man with their cow you know since that as an opportunity to rape her and you as a man you can't do anything about it you are relaxed you are just complaining you are shouting you are protesting no you as a man you have boys in those communities where those full and people are domiciled the only thing for them is to be on the lookout guide those women protect them even if they are misbehaving like some women will misbehave you as a man should be able to stand up and say mm, this is not the way some of them that are dressing in uh, in, uh, in, in in so uh, i mean tempting and inviting way inviting the rapers to come because uh, even if a madman rapes you then something must have motivated that madman to do so so it is very very pertinent for our men to also play a very vital role a pivotal role in making sure that our women understand the value the assets they carry in their body the value they have uh, as a woman as a different woman so they have to also protect them do the best they can do in order to protect them from all these marauding full army headers and those of them like my brother mentioned in the hotel and other places well what i have to say about that is you know the world that we are in now is a world where so many things uh, have gone bad this is a zoo a lot of things have gone bad in this very zoo nigeria is a society that appreciates everything more than the good thing people are now seeing 
evil thing as normal once your heart is fixed on something on you. yes you are only tempted by what your heart is fixed on if your heart is not fixed on their wealth or whatever they are carrying about there is no way their child will work on you but because our people have given themselves they have sold out even like the Hanese and the people we, call, we, we have as misleaders in various places they have sold out are you telling to try to tell me that the Fulani people are using talisman on them those people that willingly sold themselves out like Asari Bukubona that we have just talked about he is, is the talisman working on him too because he believed that he has a lot of chance and all of that that sure. nobody can shoot him at you. so our people need to be wise enough yes full and have talisman they have chance so now what do we do? i think that there, there should be um you know we are now out of the rape issue we are now talking about those who willingly or um, maybe yes. we are caught in their yeah. web uh, mm. the web of uh, talisman because they, they are blatant so mm. do you think there should be a separate awareness there should be a kind of evangelism there should be uh, an yes. empowerment program that should be uh, that should be set aside or be mapped out to ensure that these people are, because yes, it's not that everyone you find out that when over 50 percent of these people are hiv positive you as a young man you go to the village and you find one young girl you love her so much and uh, before you know i want to marry you you might yes. even end up sometimes you make this mistake you don't even go for a test before you know it you're already having uh, uh you know an intimate, yeah, uh, an intimate relationship before you know it you are equally affected sometimes it doesn't even end with sex most of these people cook for you they are your sisters they are your siblings they are cutting uh, maybe peeling a, a, a fruit for you and the knife cut them the blood you know the blood stain yes. before you know it we all are infected well well my sister the truth of the matter is that it, it, it's a collective effort just like you said it's something you not uh, something you say after all it is happening in that family is not my business exactly. just like what is happening today now IPOD people they are fighting for the resolution of Biafra. Resolution of Biafra is not made for the IPOD people alone. It is made for everybody. If Biafra come today, everybody, both big and hard, those in the water, those in the ground, those even the animals in Biafra land, they will enjoy Biafra freedom. Yeah. But all of them are not coming out to support it. So this is what we are talking about now. We are talking about it because it it involves us now. There are some of our people they will come back from diaspora, they will go to the village and say, okay, let me go and look for a decent girl to marry. And at the end of the day, they know that the, the girl, the so-called decent girl that you want to help you marry have already been already misused by the Alsa Fulani people who have given them one sickness or the other they have gotten from cow. So now it is a collective education. Our people need to be well educated in all ramification for them to understand. Both the men too. That's why I say that everything is not just centered on the women. The men too are involved in this very education. They have to be aware themselves that look at what is going on in society and know how to make sure we set up things that will make our people to be engaged in one thing or the other because uh, um, uh, like I, I will say that um, uh, they say that uh, an idle, uh, um, I mean the devil tempts everyone but I say an idle mind is the one tempting the devil so if you are idle you are already I mean you are make yourself available for the devil to come and tempt you or for the full enhancement to come and uh, misuse you so like as you are saying now uh, IPB is doing the best they can we have so many projects on hand and I believe if the time those uh, we begin to implement all of that we can be able to create an employment opportunity for people to be engaged because if our people if our ladies because i believe they are not lazy if our people can be engaged in one thing or the other they have something doing at least then they will be easily uh lured with a uh, house of full and a house or uh, to be deceived in because of money or content naira if they can be able to find something to do if they can create opportunity and enable an environment for them to have one or two things to do and even our people in diaspora should also come to their aid you know do one or two things about them set up some centers just like you mentioned even for our women for our young ladies for our old people where they can be able to be getting some little little things to eat because if you go uh, i mean and look at it deep, deeply you see that there is hunger in the land the truth of the matter is that there is hunger in the land in fact yesterday okay we didn't even uh, see that in our news uh, bulletin yesterday uh, somebody a dear friend set himself ablaze in the brain state because of he he didn't have anything to eat he couldn't feed himself yeah, we'll he, he, so many yeah yes he he, he 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 burnt up himself so th this kind of thing shouldn't be happening in the afternoon when you compare this one commit the suicide
suicide okay. and this one says instead of me to commit suicide let me go and um, collect yes now yeah, collect the these town, many students they are trained they just mm. want like that that of students so many of them want to go to school they mm. want to enjoy by, them, all, by all means possible not mm. word, by all, all that's a phrase mm. exactly. it's really dangerous so mm. now who do you blame the one who killed themselves or the ones who went for the full army i think the I, whole I, 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 I will not blame them because you know the system the people that i will still put the blame back to the people that are keeping us in this very bondage because if you listen to a video that was i mean the interview that was granted by one uh, a citizen of uh, south and um, north saudi arabia dubai he said that uh, nigeria is far more hundred times richer than dubai itself we have oil we have good we have natural resources and everything so this country is supposed to be a gulf country where everybody is supposed to be comfortable doing very well in their endeavors without going hungry but what happened bad management bad leadership so everything still boils down to the leadership we have had they are the ones that set this situation for our people in a situation where you cannot even have a 24 hours power supply the basic amenities of life you cannot even access the better health care they already themselves they have gathered all the money they have stolen they have done everything if their wife wants to go to the toilet you will fly her to london she will go to the toilet in london if she wants to ease herself she wants to you know they will fly her to south america she will go there and ease herself if she is having a bed they will fly her to uh johannesburg and all of that so this is exactly why there's a lot of poverty in the land because people who are supposed to make things to work to build industry the last time a pastor bought a, a private jet private jet is something that is in among the uh, uh, the 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 the, yeah, the, the pastors the, the pastors and all of and that. And the fact that go and, and you know how much this man now yes. the tight and all bring to yes, the Yes, we need to pay in the church. And at the end of the day, they are putting you about when you talk, they say don't talk about it. But we must talk about it because it is not a what is putting us in the very bondage that we are in now. Because do you know how much it takes for you to spend to acquire one private jet? You spend billions upon billions to buy one private jet. But when they buy it comfortably, those are the, if you bring that one billion now and invest it only in one state now, that money can go a long way to create employment opportunity to make sure that our people have something to do even those your members they would have something to do to be bringing money for you but they will not do that they don't be accumulating money packing money packing money packing money telling you your treasure is in heaven and at the end of the day people will die for nothing like this a very young man that just said himself i when i read that very news i was very bitter that i wept i said Kai, had it been there something i personally could have done for him for him not to commit suicide because that's somebody who cannot feed himself somebody who doesn't even have any don't even have any hope of where the next me will come from so what do you expect the person to do he killed himself and then we blame him no so the whole blame goes back to the misleaders we have for their bad representation and all, all of that then the remaining blame goes to the people because the people you are saying the truth i probably have come out openly to tell you that this is the truth oh, this is the truth these are the people that are giving us hostage come up, let all of us join hands together let our hearts beat as well let us fight them let us push them out let them put them in the condition they should be you say no, you are supporting them, you are castigating IPOB, and most of all these people that are killing themselves, they are still the ones castigating IPOB, they come to social media to fight us, they come everywhere to come and start say one rubbish or the other, they, at the end of the day, they are still the ones being backfired upon with the evil uh, and uh, the, uh, the, the hardship that this country have to bring. So it is very, very sad for our people. So if our people can be able to get wisdom, they say if you get wisdom, you get understanding and patience you join ipob we are propagating the message of freedom and emancipation when you talk about freedom and emancipation not just to have biafra you'll be free your mind will be free your brain will be free nobody will control your brain with a remote telling you if you don't do this if you don't type in 100 times you will not be blessed this very week okay you don't do let, let, let's look at the next one and okay. i feel you i understand what you are saying and your pain we all are pain with what is going on in biafra land it's really really you know it's discouraging and we need to do more we need to do more when evangelism needs to be intensified very very important most uh, especially our young girls our young our young girls out there need to do something you need to go out there and uh, of course create this awareness talk to your fellow young girls and uh, the young ladies we need to bring them we need to you know educate them we need to educate them it's really really important okay let's look at um, the next one here Aisha Buhari plans to immortalize late husband. Uh, of course, why she, uh, as she says she's going to build a university. Aisha Buhari plans to immortalize late husband by establishing a private university. Okay, let me read out what we have here. 
Aisha Bohai, the wife of the president, has expressed her plan to establish a private university to be known as Muhammad Buhari University. She disclosed this on Saturday during a town hall meeting in Yola organized by her in collaboration with concerns indigenous of Adamawa. Mrs. Buhari, who did not, however, review when or where the university would be cited, explained that the university would be established in collaboration with partners from Sudan and Qatar. Mrs. Buhari, who lamented the challenges facing education and various sectors in the state, called for active support of the state indigents in complementing government efforts. I cannot conclude without suggesting how we can complement the efforts of government in achieving some of its developmental goals. On this note, I would like to advocate for the establishment of Adamawa Development Trust Fund, through which to prioritize developmental projects can be financed and implemented, she said. Fatih Bala also called for reconciliation and forgiveness among the people of the state and the setting up of a committee to come up with a blueprint for the development of the state. Sadiq Dawa, who spoke on agriculture at the meeting, noted that 80% of the state land was arable and suitable for farming. Okay, uh, Mazi Elvis, what do you have to say about this? Aisha Buhari to immortalize her husband uh, by building a private university. What do you think on that? What's she trying to? What's she trying to tell the whole world? Yes, um, my sister, uh, just allow me before I go into about immortality and uh, mortalizations and uh, modifications of um, Aisha Buhari of a thing. Um, there is uh, an impression that I want to she kind of uh, uh, brought in, uh, touch a little bit before going to that very uh, section. Um, when you and um, my brother were saying something I overheard, uh, something like charm or whatever, uh, my sister, let me just tell you, just like our, our brother said, the uh, uh, adultery and uh, fornications and uh, immorality is a, a, a thing of the mind. If your mindset is full of evil, you cannot have any other thing than to, to many many of them at uh, their heart has been a kind of destroyed. Like you are now, River Niger or the river is the river right area now cannot come up to the where wherever it is to, to the studio and uh, drown you. It can you can only drown the person when the person gets close to that very place. That is number one. Then number two, uh, maybe in some other days, I want us to put it into an agenda. Some other days we have to discuss the issue of this uh, child abuse by uh, using them to hawk on the street. These little little girls that are hawking in the street, they full and is are also raping and disturbing the I mean destroying the if they tell you if they tell you what those of them are passing through the hand of those cop even most of our brothers also contribute to most of most of them have been raped and uh, uh, this virgin by mechanics by our own brothers as well so i want us to look into it some other time because that is an yeah you're right we're right let's um let's yeah, let we're we going to map out a day to talk on this awareness it's really important thank you very much for reminding me i'll put it down so now now about the 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 immortality you can't immortalize a living being. You can only immortalize someone that there uh, was someone that has uh, that is no more, someone that has dead for long ago. That is to confirm and vindicate our leader that what he has been saying concerning Buhari and the replacement of Jibril is hundred percent truth. Let me just tell you, it doesn't matter how far they, they, they or how fast or smart they are to cover the truth. They will expose themselves by themselves. So what do they mean by immortalizing a Buhari by using by building a university? Where 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 I mean that is him. Won't he come up and speak from on his own? How can you now immortalize somebody that is still alive? It's impossible. And that is to tell you that the man in Asorok is an impostor. Thank you. Okay, to you, uh, Mazi. Uh, Victor, what do you have to say about that immortalizing Buhari building in university in his name and with the aid of uh, Sudan? Well, uh, my sister, the fact remains to be seen. I mean, um, there is no, there is no doubt about it. Uh, people have, I mean, it's just that uh, Nigerians they are blind. 
they are very stupid they are very useless and hopeless that they can even if they see the truth they cannot even understand it for aisha buhari to even come out openly because she cannot wait any longer she has told them that two men are holding this country in ransom her husband is already dead yeah. they don't want her to mourn her husband the normal way islam women mourn her husband they are still forcing her to be sleeping with one jubilee from sudan which she, which she does not like which she is not i mean something that is giving her joy because she loves her real husband and they are forcing her to do all of these things so in order for her now to you know to you know free her conscience and to also to uh, make people to understand that look at uh, what she has been crying out is uh, truly is working out she has to just go uh, towards this plan of uh, establishing a, a, a memorial or a university in the name of our husband be destroyed so that is the main agenda Okay, thank you very much. This moment will be going on a break. When we return, we will open up our lines for call. And of course, uh, you call in to make your own contribution. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. <laughs> Sunrise Daily News Analysis on Biafra Television. I am Ngozi Chukuk, and of course, I have Mas Victor Oyido with me. I also have Mazi Elvis on with you with us here in the studio. And of course, we've been deliberating on some issues here, some headlines we have here. And uh, this moment, the lines are open for you to call and make your contributions. Call us on Skype, call us on Facebook, call our phone line, call us on WhatsApp. They are all open for you to call. Let's hear from you. What's your take with what is going on in Biafra land? It's really, really important. Okay, let's look at the next headline here before your calls. Um, Amnesty gives figures of IPOB and IMN members killed by soldiers in Nigeria. Okay, the human rights violations, according to Amnesty International, so over 350 murdered by Nigerian army in December 2015 in Zaria. The six sons of their leader murdered by soldiers. Sheikh El Zaki detained since 2015. In October 2018, soldiers murdered 45 sheikhs in Abuja. 150 IPB supporters killed by soldiers. That's Amnesty International and Tax Nigerian Army for the murder of hundreds of Nigerians since 2015. The Human Rights Group have figures of the number of IPB and Armenian members killed by soldiers. Amnesty International Africa has had a long drawn battle with the Nigerian army over matters bordering on human rights violations such as rape, extrajudicial killings, illegal detention and torture of citizens. The army at one point accused the group of plotting to destabilize the country. We'll have a call on the phone. Hello. The way our so-called ladies give their themselves to our family. It is not the 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 the, 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 the fault of the house of land, but rather it is their fault. Because in this instance, our parents are always advised us to stay away. When I myself was traveling to Kaduna to go and talk my mouth, my father called me separately, privately, and uh, advised me on that that no matter what, that I should stay away from them. But unfortunately, what is happening to us today, that even there is one company in Aba, a transport company, that all the security people there are Aosa people. If you see the way our gears run to them, you, you will cry, you will shed tears. There is the eat up. And all those things that is happening today is what church can cause. If it is not so, I don't see any reason such a thing will happen. Forget about our Asari, 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 Dokubo, Asari, Dokubo. I don't know, Alahaj, Alahaj, Edia Bai, but, but I can tell him today that I have a trap that I can use in catching the Edia Bai. Edia Bai is an animal in the bush, and there is a trap which can hook the Edia Bai. Edia Bai will no longer move around. It will turn to meat. Whatever Alta Pulani is using him to do against our struggle, I say shame to him because he's worthless. He's worthless. I think the is an animal. 
which I can catch with my trap and he comes with me. So forget about him. Let the struggle continue. Let all those that believe in the freedom of Jaffa continue on their work. At the end, we shall know who, who is who and who is standing on the truth. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. We'll have another caller. Hello? Oh. Hello, call WhatsApp. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Good, good morning. morning. Yeah, my name is Bishop, calling from Istanbul. Okay, you're welcome. Uh, first of all, I thank you all. I greet all of you that are presenting this issue, both in Biafra Television, Biafra Radio, all the old leaders in Biafra land that are Biafra program. It's good, God bless you all. Bless you too. Yes, sir. My contribution is about the death of this prophet. When I hear the death of the prophet, because I have an uncle that is worshiping with them, there is one of the elders in that church. And I can have my own investigation. I called him. Uncle, what is happening? I heard that he lost the prophet. He said, Yes. I said, What happened? Is it the IPOB member that killed him? He said, No. I said, What do you know about it? Can you give me? Or can you tell me about what you know about the death? He said, Yes, you know it about the death. The one who got it, tell me about it. I said, Okay, go ahead. He now tell me that the death of the prophet, what well, I want to say is let the whole Nigeria hear. Those who Nigeria should hear it. And those people in Biafra land should also hear it. Because people doesn't people doesn't carry out of investigation or do anything that they didn't know. You should before you do you say any word, they try to investigate and know what you are saying. When I ask my uncle, he say yes, the death of that prophet is the prophet that caused the death. And his APC member that killed him. There are some groups, you no, know, there are two groups. Some group are supporting the APC, and some group is supporting PDP. So they are flying omnis to make sure they, they brought a problem between IPOB so that you see that we start killing yourself. So they meet the group in that Ohanazendi that is supporting IPOB. Two of two men there, the names, but I don't want to mention their name yet. They say that those two men comes and meet some boys and with some elders, two elders with the past with the prophet and told him that look, look at what we want you to do. You can be able to blackmail uh Mazananikan and told him that you can demand from Atiko or this to make sure in that election time they're going to give him ten million. So they now bargain with him with the two of the elders with the prophet when they get the bargain they say okay they gave him money. They said they gave him two million to go and publish. They gave him the, the two million they gave him, they didn't give him cash. They gave him the two million to, to people to give him. I gave him the two million, and I gave him one million. They did not give the two million correct. They gave him one million to publish what he said. Now when he published that, what he said about their leaders, now he came back and told them that I've already did it. And now they start having problems. He start having problems with his family first. His family said, now what do you go and do this? He have a problem with his family. And some of the elders in the church with the members, they start having pro issue, problem with him. For that, he lost some of his members. He said it's the will of God that told him to do. He did not open up with the family and the, 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 the members there. So now, he tried to demand his balance of the money, the 9 million naira. They refused to give him his balance of the money. He not think that he's going to open up to tell the world what happened. So he's going to confess. Now they're not sent people to come assassinate him. To not for him to confirm what's happened. See, and when they assassinate him, they announced that it's IPOB that killed him. Now they are using the same method to Asari, that Asari should probably, or Asari is going to do this. Now they, if they kill Asari, they say it's IPOB. IPOB don't have power to kill, IPOB don't have time to kill. But the people that kill themselves is through the APC government that use them. They make sure that they want to, anything that make sure that they want to use to support IPOB going forward, but the more they try, the more the IPOB works more. So people should carry out investigate well, because this is what my uncle told me in that church. He said one of the elders in the church. So this is the problem of the pastor. This is what I want to say. God bless you, dear friends. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Of course, we shall sure know that um, they killed him. You know, they tried, they will use them, and after using them, they will still come for them. And uh, just to ensure that they, they paint IPOB black, but we are wiser than them. We are not terrorist group. 
we don't kill. If we are to kill, there are a lot of people who have done more uh, yes. evil or you know, who have done something more worse betrayal. than this. Yes, more betrayers that ought to have gone down. But we have decided to let them be. We are not going to do that. So they are just, um, everything they are doing is the effort and fertility because we are waxing strong. They cannot stop us. Very, very important. Okay, so I just read uh, the report from Amnesty International. So, uh, Master Victor, what do you have to say about that? After all this report, I think nothing is happening. They keep releasing reports, they keep releasing figures of people who have been killed by the Nigerian army. Uh, yet, the, the brutality continues every day. Well, the truth of the matter is that, uh, um, uh, first of all, uh, before I go into that, I want to also commend the caller uh, that I just called from Istanbul, Turkey, to give us uh, this very vital information. At least this one, again, is uh, in line with what we have been talking about, we, what we have been trying to educate our people to make them understand that... Uh, <coughs> Look, IPOB is not a killer of anybody. And one thing again I used to tell people is that the devil, the tendencies of the devil is cruelty. The devil will use you after using you, then he will bless you with death. He will kill you at the end of the day. This is a warning to those who are intending to betray or to sabotage IPOB. This is the fate that befell, the, befalls you if you are a, an upcoming saboteur or a baby saboteur. So now, um, coming to the issue you just raised about uh, the Amnesty International report. Well, the truth of the is that amnesty they are doing the best they can you know that okay to... sorry let's take a call we'll okay. have a call on the phone hello hello good morning let's walk back yeah good morning from good morning. here what's an hour you coming from yeah bless you bless you too yeah the television Mazi and then um uh oh yeah um yafra is here nobody will stop yafra Sure. Brother, my name is Tine Meremogiku. I have from Abadian Wangele, this government, Timo State. But I am calling from Momombra, mostly in Onisa province. My brother, what we are discussing this morning, very, very fortunate. The way our women, our girls, we are, we are here in Biafra and we have a lot of work, a lot of jobs to do. But by the grace of people, we are doing it. But our directors and our member. Many people that they born for us these days, they are a small, they are not from our blood, they are from not, not our lineage. You know that they said, open his mouth, I told me that he said of him to me, he said, be a evil man, or you go and find a lad who get money, who have the trailers and debt. So that is, that is where, what we are facing here. But I want to tell them, therefore, it's not everybody, my brother. I begin to ask myself, why our director says that therefore is the kingdom of God on earth? What is the kingdom of God on earth? The kingdom of God on earth is what we are the righteousness of God, holiness will dwell. Not we are everybody who come here. Some people thought that it's a whether economic or the whether business or... No, 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 no. When the time of Israel like, they are, they are moving out from Egypt. It's only Joshua and Caleb. In a point of time, Joshua come and said, who is on the Lord's side? Come this way. That, that's the people that made this, this thing that we are speaking with to everybody come and say, is not for everybody. Why is our director say only 100 men will stop their plan? No, I, I, I believe that, that the source of Akan, Akabon, will not be in the Biafra land. Because we have many of them here, but nobody will stop this quest because it's the agenda of God. It's the agenda of God. The other way around now, look, let me say what Asari is doing. I am not, I am not, I am not, I know that Asari will do that. Because Asari is the, is the experiment of Islam. Asari is the experiment. You know that the Muslims are looking a way to conquer the land of Biafra. And they are doing enemies. Why they train Asari is this mission. And Asari is on a social mission in their farm. That the two government will destroy and destroy his generation. And destroy the village. Because Asari is an Islamic experiment. As the Yuga used to do within the Yoruba and Awata and the Udu one here. You, 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 you. That is what Asari came to here to do. To Islam. So, Masi, can you please summarize the because we have other callers who are waiting? The young young boys that Asari will fight. 
My brother and my sister, the two God bless you. God God bless you too. Thank you very much. Thank you. Come on, what's up? Hello. Hello, I'm going to talk Mazin Dewo Yeah. Mazin Dewo and Elvis. Tutu Oma. Tutu Oma. Watch it again. I remember you. One I am calling from Italy. And I'm working as a promoter of that And you remember the result in Italy. The return of the black restore the dignity of man, huh? the dignity of mankind and human kind on this planet Earth. Yes, we are preparing and using this opportunity to announce about our Catholic, Catholic law, remembrance of our foreign heroes. Our aim will happen in Rome. Yes, in Rome to Rome. On Catholic. It will happen there. Okay, and I am going ahead to give some of my own analysis on what I understand and what is happening in our land and in the life of our brothers and sisters. Yes, my people, I have already understood that why this people still want to come to is the one God in the first. Now our girls. They are not the control of God anymore. This is why we see all those things happening in our land. Most of our girls are not from Christ anymore. And there is something different between the confession. There is a difference. There is a big difference. We can compare on the first Okay, Mazi, please okay. can we summarize? We have callers who are waiting, please. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. The people can do the security of the of 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 the of the. You know, it's just this thing that yeah, he is no hard. My brothers and sisters, he is no hard. I do have a reputation for all the people of the country the worldwide. I see Maka or Maka Mel and Maka. You know, you know, you know who I mean. You, Maka Mel and. Thank you. Thank you so much. There were. How long the phone is there? We forget about. We forget. We might say forget. Ah, ah, sorry, doctor, but forget this. We will not forget. We will not forget. If if we forget, things will continue to happen like this. We have to break it. Talk up. I want to let the international community, the whole world, to know that the Nigerian government. And the enemies of Biafran, they have 
they are now diverting another means in order to make ITOB look like a murderous lady organization, a murderous nation, because ITOB is indigenous people of the Africa and is a nation. Now, what they are doing now is when they go and treat any, everybody have this understanding with the, the ITOB, now so that the world will begin to look at uh, ITOB. So I'm telling, I'm telling the world, the enemies of Biafra, the people who are standing against Biafra, that they are going to use you, you do as a leader of the Don't think that you are safe, because the Nigerian government will not come back from you any moment. And so that the world will begin to look at ITOB, because he uh, said he, 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 he made a sleep, that, that is why uh, the, the world will know the truth. Every enemy of ITOB, every enemy of the expression of, uh, of Biafra, not me that your life is on set, on the line. The, 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 the Nigerians who are going to kill you in order to take it that, so that they, they will, because they have, they think, they have used all strategies. They cannot succeed. They have called us uh, 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 terrorist organizations. They didn't succeed. They, are, they have used another method. That, that is the method they are going to use it. And I said, so you are yapping your mouth. Not that you, you are using yourself in that street. Because the Nigerian government, if they do not succeed, they can try you. They will kill you and say you that you will be. And the world will know the truth. That is not us. All the enemies of God, you people will kill yourself at the end of the day. And the truth, God will rest of Biafra. Because evil will never enter into Biafra. That is the only thing. God bless Biafra. In the name of our Lord, we have a share. Thank you so much. Thank you. We'll have another caller on the phone. Hello. Hello, caller. Hello, Hello. 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 Thank you very much. Now, I'm into Biafra, calling from Omok. Omok. Welcome. In our other province, I greet all of you. Now, one that goes a long time. I miss you so much. Thank I greet so uh, Maze Onido and the Maze Evans. Good morning. Good people are doing great. God bless you. I'm um, uh, talking yeah, about the like issue that. at hand. The problem we have in uh, at the people is uh, when we begin to read the things of the foreigners in our land. When our people, when our people just left what their ancestors left for them behind and leave it and begin to be the wish of a white man. Our problem started when we begin to do marriage, marry the right one day, without following the procedures of our forefathers. Our problem as the people start when we stop uh, making a marriage requirement, where the person comes from, the origin of the person and whatever, before we embark on the procedures, that is when our problem as a person starts. Our problem, uh, our problem as a person started when we used to meet, why our eyes were closed and hold Christianity as if uh, we, are, we, we are holding God. That is when our problem as a person started. These are the problems of our people this is when we just when when we become so loose when we declare ourselves point and